morning to all my dear students. Hope you all are safe at your home. Dear students, in our last science class, we discussed about different uses of plants. Plant stem, plant root, plant leaves, plant flower. These all are very useful, is it children? And we discussed many uses one by one. Now, in this class, I'm going to teach you about different uses of animal. So, let's check animals use okay so this is our new chapter so we are going to learn about uses of animals okay so before that i have to ask some question that is have you had your breakfast today yes of course right what all other things you ate children yes devananda saying milk yes adila saying egg ahil saying chicken curry and appam like that students we are eating different varieties of food in our daily life, is it? Some products we can get from plants that already we discussed. But some product like this, like milk, egg and meat that we can get from animal, is it children? So from this we can understand animals are actually our friends as like plants because they can give many products, many animal products, right? Listen children, some animals like dog or we can say donkey and elephant. These animals, they're helping us. How children? They're helping in the sense dogs give security to us, right? And donkey carries load of us, right? And also elephant which also carry loads. So some animals, they are helping us. Some animals we are using as pet like cat or parrot. These animals we are using as pet and even dog also. Why? They are giving entertainment to us, right? And some animals like cow, then hen, then duck, then goat. These animals we are kept in a farm. Is it children? We give special care to them and we are kept in a farm. Okay, these animals are pet but these animals are farm. We are kept in a farm and give special care to them because they are giving a lot of products. Okay, like God giving meat. Okay, and milk. What about cow? Cow also giving meat and milk. Is it children? So both God and cow, they are giving milk and meat to us. Is it? What about hen and duck children? Hen and duck, they are giving what? Yes, of course, egg and meat also together. Okay. Now you understood what are pet animals? Example like dog and cat and what are farm animals? Example like cow, hen, duck like that. Listen children, animals like farm animals we can again classify into two types. That are some animals which are giving only milk and milk products. Okay. Milk and milk products. What are the milk products, children? Yes, of course, cheese, butter, like that. Some animals giving milk and milk products. But some animals which are giving egg and meat. Okay, so we can classify or we can rear in these animals into two categories. We can get milk from animals. Is it? And we can get egg and meat also from animals. We are take care of these animals into two different categories. Like that, milk and milk product. Which animal giving milk and milk product children? Yes, of course, cow, goat, like that animal. And buffalo also. These animals, we can call it as dairy farming. Okay, these farming we can call it as dairy farming. Dairy means they are giving milk and milk product. Okay. So this is we called as dairy farming. 
Bring of animals such as or birds such as hen, then dog. Okay, rearing of animal or take care of animals such as a hen and dog, we called as we called as which farming? Yes, poultry farming. Okay, poultry farming, poultry farming, poultry farming is a type of a farming, and we will get product like. Egg and meat in where children in poultry farming. So, what are the two types of farming? Dairy farming and poultry farming. So, from this we can understand many animal products we are using in our daily life. It may be food or it may be, yes, our cloth itself. Or it may be our chapel. How children? Hmm? These all are maybe animal products. Sometimes we are using skin of some animals for making our bags, for getting this leather. Mm? So these all the things we can get from animal skin maybe. Okay. So we are using different types of animal skin also. So students, now we learned about what is poultry farming and what is dairy farming. And now we can check about how we can get silk from silk worm okay we can get silk from silk worm okay worms are eating which what type of food children that is mulberry leaves okay and they grow silk worms are feed on mulberry leaves okay and also we can get how we can get silk cloth children actually silk worm has a cocoon. What is cocoon? That is silk worm producing a thread outer covering of their body. A thread like structure. Outer covering of their body in their life cycle. Life cycle of silk worm. You will learn higher classes only. But you should understand. We can get silk thread. For preparing the silk from cocoon of silk worm. From our children. From the cocoon of silk worm. So what is cocoon? Cocoon Co worms spin a shell made of silk thread around themselves. That we called cocoon. Okay. So insects also giving dress to us or clothes to us. And wool. From we can get wool. We can get wool from sheep. Okay. Did you see the sheep's body? Full of hair. The process of removing the hair from the bodies of animals like sheep or yak we called as shearing process. So mainly we are removing the sheep's hair from the sheep's body. Is it? That process we called shearing. Okay. And that hair we are using for the preparation of sweater and different types of wool and clothes. Clear children? Now you understand from animals we can get varieties of useful items. It may be food or it may be clothes like that. Okay. And other uses we can check in our next class. So all should have to read the lesson at least three times. Dear students, we get a best moral value or life skill from this chapter. That is... When sheep are sheared for wool or cows are milked, they are not harmed. Sheep can grow their hair and cows produce more milk again and again. But animals like crocodile or elephant, when we are taking their skin or ivory, what will happen? It is very harmful to them. So, this is the way. We have to think of ways in which the use of leather and fur can be reduced. We have to think about it because animals also our friend as like plants. The question is what is the spelling of cocoon? What is the spelling of cocoon? And we can meet in our next class. Till then take care. Bye bye.